Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Small Step Saturday. Every single Saturday, I'm going to be sharing a small, simple step that you can take that will pay off big time in freeing up time or energy, reducing your stress level, or helping you to accomplish your goals and build the life you've been dreaming of. And today, I'm going to talk about school papers. Okay, so many of you know I have five kids, and at one time, they were in four different schools. And even if you get on the email list, which I highly recommend with your child's school, you'll still have a lot of random papers that come into your house. And if you're anything like me, keeping track of these papers is a huge stressor. These things vary from permission slips that need to go back to weekly logs or reading logs. There is just so much communication that goes on back and forth still in paperwork. In addition to that, if your kids are a little younger, you may be checking in on their homework to make sure that it got done and that it got done with their best effort, things of that nature. And so having a place to keep those papers and knowing exactly where they are at all times is so incredibly helpful. And it really reduces that mental load of one more thing that needs to be juggled in your house. The way that we did it is with a mailbox system. So today I'm going to teach you exactly how to make your own mailboxes and how to get all the kids on board and how to use them really, really well. So here are the supplies that you need to make your own mailbox system. One, you're going to need a box of some sort. It could be a cereal box. I happen to be using a um, Rice Krispie Treat box because I did this right around Halloween and that's what I had on hand. You just want to make sure that that box is nearly big enough to hold a folder. Now, don't worry if it's not exactly big enough because as we all know, those papers are flexible, but you don't want like a tiny box. You want something that's a decent size. In addition to that, wrapping paper, brown paper bags, whatever you have to wrap up your mailboxes. Now listen, if you don't mind the look of taped together cereal boxes, don't even worry about wrapping them. But I know for some of you, having them look aesthetically pleasing is really important. And so that's where you'll use wrapping paper or butcher block paper or Again, just a paper bag from the grocery store. I'm using some brown butcher paper. Then what you're going to want is scissors, tape. I like to use packaging tape and you'll see why. And um, a pencil. And that's about it. You don't need a lot of supplies to make this. Most of them you actually probably already have on hand. So you're going to start by removing the lid or one side of your box, meaning the top or the bottom. It's usually easiest to do this if you have the box open to just cut off those flaps. And then what you're going to do is wrap them. Now, you can wrap all of your boxes together, meaning you can tape them together and wrap them all as one, or you can wrap them each individually. I find it easiest to wrap them each individually and then stick them together. And that's what you're going to see me do here. After you have wrapped them, you want to just attach them to each other. I'm just using rolled up packaging tape. You could use a glue stick. You can use whatever it is you have on hand. If you'd like, you could even tie a fancy pretty ribbon around it. Um, that actually works as well. But you want some way to fasten those boxes together. It's very important that your mailbox system has enough boxes for each person in your family. So each child needs a mailbox. And then usually we only do one parent mailbox. In our home, we found it was easier to have one person who is designated as responsible for school papers. Um, that was in part because when my husband would fill out a permission slip that required a sack lunch or something special like that, he would often forget to tell me about it and then it would create a lot of chaos the day of the actual event. So we typically only had one person in charge of school papers. That is the person whose mailbox should be with the kids mailbox. Now you'll see me cut off a small strip of the scrap paper that I removed because the paper was a little too big. And I'm going to use that to encourage my kids to be engaged with the mailbox system. 
Here's how. When your child gets the opportunity to decorate their own little name segment on the mailboxes, they're far more enthusiastic about using them. They have a sense of ownership and excitement and accomplishment about their participation in the project. So we just want to cut off a little strip that they can decorate. And then we will go ahead and affix that to the front of the mailbox when we're all done. Make sure that you also cut a little notch into the mailbox so that you can see if there's something in it. This is especially true if you have really tall boxes like I do. If someone puts something in the mailbox and you don't have that notch in the front, you're not going to see it at all. To finish up the mailbox project, I like to use packaging tape to secure the edges of the wrapping paper. This just makes it last longer. You could, again, also just glue it down with a glue stick, um, or you could just simply leave it or use scotch tape to, to fasten it. I just do this because I know little hands will end up tearing that paper, um, and I like to have them last at least for a, a full school year. So once you have that done, your mailbox system is ready. Get your child to decorate their little name segment. Attach that as well with some packaging tape or a glue stick, whatever you happen to have on hand. And then you want to put that mailbox system wherever they get ready in the morning, meaning somewhere near their backpacks. I like to keep mine in my laundry room, which also doubles as a mud room. When the kids are done with their homework or whatever they need to do for the day, they simply put their papers that need to be reviewed or signed into my mailbox. After bedtime, I grab everything out of my mailbox. I sign whatever needs to be signed. I review whatever needs to be reviewed. I put it all back together and I put it in the child's mailbox that it needs to go back to school with. When they get up in the morning, as we're getting ready to go, they simply empty their mailbox into their backpack. That is it, y'all. That's it. It's really that simple. So there's a, never a lost permission slip. There's never a um, reading log that hasn't been signed or a weekly log that hasn't been addressed. And everyone knows exactly where all those school papers go. I highly recommend that you remind your kids early on in this process and absolutely refuse to let anyone hand you any papers. As soon as those papers are handed to you, you will break the habit of them putting them in the mailbox. So if you teach them to use the mailbox system regularly and you're consistent with it, this will just become your family's way of life. In addition to school papers, I also tend to keep um, things that I need to keep track of in my mailbox, things like um, any vaccination records I have for my kids that might need to go back to school or um, any paperwork I might need for, for example, a doctor referral, things like that. I tend to keep extra things in my mailbox that don't go back and forth. I also will sometimes put things in my kids' mailboxes that, for example, come in the mail for them, like bank statements. Part of the reason why is it's an easy place to put it. And y'all, it doesn't matter to me if my kid ends up throwing some kind of mail or a card from grandma that came in the mail into their backpack. I'm not really worried about it. It's just a great way for me to get things back and forth with my kids. In addition, if you are a family that does parent-child journals, this is also a great way to keep track of those. And let me know in the comments what you think about the mailbox system. And I really want to know if you've tried it and how this has worked for you. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Every single Saturday, you'll find another small step to make your life so much easier and give you the time and the energy you need for the things that matter most to you. Bye, everyone.